Hello everyone. Today we are going to study another very very important topic which is in news as well as which is in use many a time. We have read this concept in newspaper we discussed about this concept we uh, collected data about this concept we read it that india's gdp increased by this percentage it reduced by this percentage india's fastest growing economy china is fastest growing economy china's gdp is in two digit so we read everything but we do not take this efforts to understand gdp in our own language today we'll try to understand the concept of gdp in our own language before that first thing what is the full form of gdp gdp stands for gross domestic product first thing gdp stands for gross domestic product this is very very important thing you must remember it stands for gross domestic product we'll understand this every point one by one what it says now this is a definition of gdp and what gdp tries to say we'll try to understand before going into the concept i want to just make you i want to make one thing very very clear look around you you will realize many economic activities many economic productions productions of many things are going on surrounding you now try to classify these things into the classes that you wants i will tell you you will get one universal classification what is that universal classification everything surrounding you can be classified in terms of goods and services let us take your charger it is good pant it is good television you are watching is service mobile phone you are using is a good but the service provider is a service the video you are watching is a service cricket match you are watching is a service so keep this thing in mind every activity going surrounding you can be classified into to most universal classes one is goods and services so it means every economic activity going in your country can be classified into goods and services whether it is production of steel whether it is indian premier league or it is uh, production of cars or it is production of defense product or it is medical operations coaching institutions everything can be classified into goods and services so before going into the definition i just wants to give you hint about what is gdp gdp is nothing but the value of total goods and services produced in a country in one accounting year is gdp i repeat once again the total value of all goods and services why i am using this term because just few minutes few seconds back we have seen every economic activity can be classified into goods and services so the total money value of all goods and services produced in the country in one accounting year in one economic year this total value is called as gdp that is gross domestic product now what is actual definition of this gross domestic product we are going to study this gdp in very simpler language just understand it internalize it and if possible spread with your friend we are going to make economics more easier now see what is definition of gdp see the money value money value it means value in terms of money the money value of all final goods and services produced in domestic territory or geographical territory i am using this word with uh, slash y because these two words are used interchangeably so the money value of all final goods and services produced in domestic or geographical territory of a country now here remember here domestic territory is larger than political boundaries and it includes embassies consulates sovereign ships aircraft military establishment all they are part of domestic territory and whatever goods and services produced in this domestic territory in one economic year is called as gdp now what this definition is we will try to understand through a very simple example it is a schematic example is there you will get to know the concept very easily now see here i have drawn the schematic diagram let us say this is entire india right it is india from kashmir to kanyakumari from porbandar to silchar now 
दीज आर पॉलिटिकल बाउंड्रीज ऑफ इंडिया अलॉन्ग विथ दिस इंडिया ऑन दिस साइड देर इज लक्षद्वीप ऑन दिस साइड देर इज अंदमान एंड निकोबार सो इंडिया कश्मीर टू कन्याकुमारी पोरबंदर टू सिलचर लक्षद्वीप एंड अंदमान निकोबार दे फॉर्म्स पॉलिटिकल बाउंड्रीज ऑफ इंडिया नौ वॉट एवर गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस प्रोड्यूस्ड इन इंडिया इन लक्षद्वीप एंड इन अंदमान एंड निकोबार whether they are produced by indians or foreigners they forms part of indian gdp first thing now this is regular thing just we have seen few minutes back domestic territory is larger than political boundaries now this india this lakshadweep and andaman nikwar it forms our political boundaries right now they say that gdp do not include goods and services only within the political boundaries but it also includes goods and services produced beyond our political boundaries they are produced where they are produced at many places for example let us say this is uk united kingdom in uk there is indian embassy you must be knowing this term embassy embassy jisko hum hindi mein dutavas bhi kehte hain basically embassy is a sovereign office of a nation in other country for example india has its embassy in london london is the capital of united kingdom so that embassy is sovereign part of india now what is meaning of sovereign part of india it means anyone who wants to enter into indian embassy he has to take permission of indian government's official why because that embassy shall be treated as sovereign part of india right let us say here in australia there is another embassy in case of australia now here Afghanistan Afghanistan is war torn country it is uh, affected by terrorism to a very larger extent so Afghanistan requested India that you please uh, send your military forces as you have expertise in tackling uh, terrorism and you tackle terrorism very nicely so you please send your military or armed forces so that the armed forces can train our military personnel very nicely so they gave us this sovereign portion which is called as military establishment now in this military establishment only indian soldiers have right to enter no foreign soldier not even afghan soldier or afghan police or any afghan politician or any afghan officer has right to enter into military establishment without permission of the government of india and other sovereign aircraft and sovereign ships in the international waters that is part of domestic territory so i repeat once again keep this line in mind the term domestic territory is larger than political boundaries it involves our political boundaries plus indian embassies plus military establishments plus sovereign ships and aircrafts let us say now i want to give you one simple example let us say india produced total goods and services of 1000 rupees on the mainland india now we arranged let us say we arranged uh, an air force show in lakshadweep air force show in lakshadweep and we uh, arranged it on the basis of ticket and we gave a ticket of let us say 1000 rupees per couple and for that air force show let us say 10 couple came and we got a total ticket of let us say 10000 rupees right then we arranged an exhibition of exotic fruits flowers wines and everything in andaman nikobar and we called upon the dignitaries members and people from all over the world to visit andaman nikobar's exhibition and we put everything on sale in the andaman and nikobar here we sold the goods or the fruits to the tune of let us say 2000 rupees right now let us say sachin played his last cricket match in australia in commemoration for his last cricket match indian embassy i am repeating indian embassy in australia has arranged one uh, felicitation program of sachin tendulkar and this police felicitation program was not free of cost it had tickets and uh, this felicitation program was let us say attended by 50 people and it gave us let us say 5000 rupees in terms of ticket see i am not saying that Uh, the program was not arranged outside embassy the program was arranged in indian embassy but in australia now let us say there is centenary year of mahatma gandhi and uh, mahat uh, or 150th birth anniversary of mahatma gandhi and we arranged the Os oscar award winning gandhi film in indian embassy in uk which was attended by let us say many people and here we earned let us say 10000 rupees in terms of tickets and 
द मनी पेड बाय अफगानिस्तान गवर्नमेंट टू मिलिटरी इस्टैब्लिशमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इन अफगानिस्तान लेटेस्ट इट इज फाइव थाउजेंड रुपीज राइट सो सी हियर दिस वन थाउजेंड रुपीज इज अ टोटल ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेस हियर वी इन लक्षद्वीप इन लक्षद्वीप वी अरेंज एयरफोर्स शो सो दिस टेन थाउजेंड रुपीज इज अ सर्विस इन अंदमान एंड निकोबार वी arranged an exhibition of fruits flowers and various exotic medicinal plants for which we got 2000 rupees so it is about services in australia we arranged felicitation program of sachin tendulkar which is a service for which we got 5000 rupees in uk we arranged a movie of mahatma gandhi and for which we got let us say 10000 rupees in the embassy of india in the embassy of india in uk and in afghanistan our military establishment has earned let us say 5000 rupees by providing training to afghan police and afghan military forces right so this is total in terms of goods and services see here it is goods and service it is service it is goods it is service it is service and this is service so whatever economic activity that are being carried on in indian Uh, domestic territory can be classified into goods and services this is basic we have seen right now coming to then what shall be the gdp of india so here in case of india the total of see this uh, 1000 rupees plus this 10000 rupees plus this 5000 and 2000 7000 rupees and this 15000 rupees so this fifth One uh, one thousand and ten thousand, eleven thousand plus seven, eighteen thousand and fifteen thousand. So thirty three thousand rupees shall be the GDP of India. Thirty three thousand rupees is the GDP of India. So again, I repeating the definition once again. The final money value of all goods and services produced in domestic territory of a country in one accounting year is GDP. This we will try to understand in a very simpler manner in next uh, example. see here i am just i just try to give you the example of gdp see <clears throat> these are the total number of goods and services produced in india let us say in one accounting year we produced these cars hollywood movies bollywood movies medical operations telecom services adam gill christian steel car is good hollywood bollywood movies are services operation and telecom service they are services adam gill chris played a match and he got let us say 10000 rupees so it is a service and we produced a steel of uh, to the quantity of 100 quintal so it is again a good see every economic activity has been classified into goods and services let us say we produced 100 cars 50 hollywood movies were screen 200 bollywood movies were screen uh, in entire india let us say only 150 operations were being conducted telecom services were provided uh, 1000 services Adam Gilchrist played let us say one match and we produced steel let us say to the tune of 100 quintal now price of each car is 1000 rupees single hollywood movie earned 500 rupees single bollywood movie earned 100 rupees single operation cost 20 rupees single telecom service cost 10 rupees and adam gilchrist was given 10000 rupees for one single match and steel costed let us say 30 rupees per quintal so this is the quantity produced in one accounting year and this is the price of each unit so if single car cost 1000 rupees in this case 100 car shall uh, cost 1 lakh rupees so in this if you go for this entire total we will get the total of 1 lakh 71000 rupees so this 1 lakh 71000 rupees is nothing but the gdp of india so again i want to simplify the thing what is gdp in simple term it is total value monetary value of final goods and services produced in domestic territory of a country in one accounting year is your gdp here you have to remember one important thing while counting gdp final value is taken into account three methods are there for counting gdp one is expenditure method second is uh, income method and third is product method but we are not going in details of those three methods just remember while counting gdp final value actual sold value is taken into account second thing location is more important in case of counting gdp who produced goods and services is not important 
where the goods and services were produced is more important so i repeat once again while counting gdp location is more important than the person who produced the gdp third important thing production of both domestic as well as foreign players is taken into account while counting gdp it means when we are going to count gdp of india this gdp of india will include the production of goods and services by foreign players as well as indian players also remember this thing while counting gdp production of goods and services by foreign player as well as indian player both are taken into account and last thing which you have to remember overall gdp reflects the size of the economy remember this thing overall gdp reflects the size of the economy this is very very important point like if adam gilchrist played in india and he get 10000 rupees then those 10000 rupees shall be part of indian gdp but if sachin tendulkar plays a cricket match in america and america gives him 15000 rupees then in that case those 15000 rupees shall be part of american gdp it won't be part of indian gdp so i repeat once again while counting gdp location or the place of production of goods and services are more important than who produce those goods and services keep this thing in mind and you will get an idea the total number of goods and services produced in our economy is nothing but the gdp of india this is very simple concept so keep tuned to watch all the lectures thank you very much have a good day